What really made Satchel so special was 105 with pinpoint control. He could put it exactly where he wanted to put it, and I'm not talking about just throwing strikes. Uh-uh, the catcher set the target. He hit the target. He didn't miss. You see, he didn't warm up in the bullpen like most pitchers do, throwing to the catcher across home plate. You know what Satchel would use? A stick of foil chewing gum wrapper. The catcher would sit the chewing gum wrapper on top of home plate. And wherever the catcher moved the chewing gum wrapper, Satchel right over the top of that chewing gum wrapper. And as Satchel would say, he'd work both corners of that chewing gum wrapper. He was absolutely uncanny. Ready to go. And now Harvey and a pitch. That one clips the outside corner. And this one is off and running. Next pitch inside. And one and one. And now the count. One and two after the swing and the miss. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now Marshall. And he swings and misses and it's nothing in one. A lot of pitchers with great command or great velocity, but having both is so rare. Satchel was one of the special few. Swings and misses, it's a strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Stepping in, Reese. In there, and it's 0-1. I mean, 105 with the ability to spot it all over the place, just ridiculous. You know, Ryan Helsley dialed it up to 104 miles per hour in 2022. To think Satchel was doing it 80, 90 years before that is just crazy. The next pitch misses. And that ball. is ball Two one. Strike. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Just kept it simple. Hey. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield ball and one. took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. The 0-2 pitch from Satchel. This one popped up right side. Dives, but he can't get it. It's a foul ball. This one popped up. And that ends the inning. 